So Sherrod Brown is one of the few modern Sanders I have any respect for, mainly because he is very opposed to trade deals like NAFTA. And that's something a lot of Democrats, including the vice presidential nominee, Tim Kaine, uh, have not shown the mental capacity to evolve on. You know, I've mentioned before that these deals are made to take an American position to another country, whether it's Mexico or Canada, and allow the people there to do the exact same thing with lower wages and lower standards of living as a result of that. So they're, they're kind of a pyramid scheme where the people who negotiate them at the top get uh, the benefits of the labor involving the people who are affected by these new laws. But he's, again, been very consistent about opposing these. And commentators like myself, uh, Secular Talk, I think Dorr as well, although I don't, I'm not sure if he's covered this yet or as much, um, have spoken out against the USMC as basically being NAFTA 2.0. But Brown announced last week that he supports it. And I want to read what he wrote, what he stated in his uh, statement, rather. One of my proudest votes was against NAFTA because I knew it would encourage multinational corporations to close factories in Ohio and offshore jobs to Mexico. The agreement President Trump negotiated was much better, and I have spent more than a year working to make it more pro-worker. We fought tooth and nail against the administration, and with the support of Speaker Pelosi, Senator Wyden, and the union movement, we secured significant improvements for workers that President Trump's initial agreement left out, namely stronger enforcement. And he, they linked to his statement on, on Twitter, which I will go to right now. Um, here's the thing. Whenever people put out their statements, let me, let me just read the rest because I want you to understand this. The brown widened anti-offshore provision is a worker-empowering corporation scathing enforcement innovation that, is aim that amounts to the strongest ever labor enforcement in the U.S. trade deal. That's why this will be the first trade agreement I've ever voted for. I'm always going to be straight with American workers. This is an important step toward a poor worker trade policy, but it's not a perfect agreement. We have a lot of work to do to make hard work pay off, and one trade agreement alone will not fix President Trump's economic policies that put corporations over workers. We must build on the successes we achieved there, we achieved here, and make sure Brown Wyden is in every agreement going forward to protect American jobs. So also to clarify, Fair trade is when you have trade deals that are pro-labor and secure protections for workers' rights. And free trade is when you have unfettered, unregulated uh, trade, which is what NAFTA was. It's, it's a right-wing uh, proposal, again, designed to help our corporations. But when, as I was saying earlier, when people put out statements like this, I want to see a part where they mention this deal is better now because it has this in it. And he does say my provision, but... I mean, it's all the same kind of, like, let's read this again. Anti-offshoring provision. Okay, so does it ban offshoring? Does it uh, limit offshoring? Worker empowering. Do they get higher wages? Does everyone keep their job? Corporation scathing enforcement. What, like, what the hell do any of these words mean? And this is why I said that it's like these people... <sighs> I can have a lot of respect for a senator or a congressman or a president that has a proposal I don't agree with, but they at least specify what's in it. So they say, um, over a 10-year period, this will increase the deficit to whatever, and I think this is good because uh, it increases wages to this, that, and the other. And the only, even if I don't agree with it, at least they're stating what it is. This is such a general... Uh, pat on the back of his efforts and it's really frustrating because I, I expect the, the same platitude written explanations from the the more right-wing Democrats like Manchin and Kane and the other characters and cats so when I have what is one of the few serious uh, anti-fair trade Democrats giving me some platitude sandwich i just want to vomit man and it, it sucks because other than being opposed to single payer he has this little stupid plan where he's like i'm gonna give you single payer you just have to wait until you're 55 to buy into it other than being opposed to that brown really didn't have any positions that i disagreed with but this is now one of them so god damn it